In this tutorial, we'll look at how to solve with 100% not working in CSS. All right, so to solve your issue, I just have an HTML boilerplate. I just have an, an empty div here and it's not showing right now. So you, we can select this in the CSS. We can give it a background color, but we don't see anything because it has no size yet. So let's give it a height of, let's say 200 pixels. And then let's give it a width of 100% and let's see what, what happens or what should happen. So when you do something like this, you're going to get a div that indeed stretches all the way to the end. But we have this weird uh, space here. And this can give you a lot of issues with width 100%. So typically what people do, um, and the reason, by the way, that this exists is because the browser adds some default styling to a lot of elements. So that it adds some padding, for example, to the body element. And that's why we have this here, but also to all, a lot of other elements. And this, this padding and margin can give a lot of issues when you start working with width 100%. So typically what people do is they select all elements. This is a CSS reset, right? We, this is the universal selector. We can select all elements. We can remove the margin, remove all the padding. And typically people also set the box sizing property to border box. This is actually a pretty advanced uh, property. It's the most difficult property in CSS. I have a separate video on that. Check it out if you want to know how it works. Um, but this is a very typical CSS reset. If I, re if I save here and now refresh, you can see we got rid of that weird white space, right? So try doing the CSS reset and, and see if that solves your issue. Now, if that doesn't solve your issue, another problem that you could have is for example, if that element of yours is sitting in some kind of container element, right? Some, some, some parent element, right? So this container then could have a width of, let's say, um, 200 pixels, right? If I save here and now refresh, what happens here is that the box, this, 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 this one still has width 100%, but the percent always refers to the parent element, right? So this box, the parent element is this element. And this element has a width of 200 pixels. So it's going to be 100% of 200 pixels, right? So you're going to get a cube here because now it has 200 pixels height and width. If I make this 500 pixels, well, this will still be 100%. So it's going to be 100% of the parent element, which is 500 pixels, right? So if you want it to stretch all the way, make sure that the, that the element in which it is sitting, the parent element also has a hundred percent width and maybe you even have more elements right maybe you have a lot of nested elements here you need to make sure that the entire tree basically um has that width of 100 percent um if you want that you know if you want that element to stretch all the way right so maybe you have for example 50 percent of on the container the container is going to be 50 percent and this box is going to be 100 percent of that right so it's always about a parent element so for the container actually it's going to be the body element the body element already has um, all the width and the parent element for the body is actually the html element and the, the parent element for the html element well it, it doesn't exist this is the root element so if you set a percentage height or width on the html element that's actually going to be the viewport right so that's the visible area of the web page it does not include the address bar it's just what we see of the web page so only when you use percentage on html is it going to be relative to the the viewport in all other instances it's going to be relative to its parent element Right. Another thing you want to pay attention to is, for example, let's say it does have indeed a width of 100%, but maybe it has some kind of padding. Right? Maybe it has uh, zero pixels on top and bottom, but maybe it has 100 pixels of padding on the left and right side. Right. So now you're going to have this container have padding on this side, and you still have 100% width perhaps, but this padding is going gonna, is gonna to cause issues with that. And I believe it's the same with margin. Let me double check here. So if I refresh, yes, yeah, so now it's even worse because now um, you're going to get a horizontal scroll bar, right? So pay attention to margins and paddings in, in their uh, parent element yeah, or even deeper. If you have a tree structure with a lot of nested elements, you're going to have to look at them padding and margin as well, right? So it's really important that you have mastered CSS if you want to work as a web developer or especially with front-end web development. I have a course on CSS that takes a couple of hours, but you will walk away with much more clarity. You'll be at a professional level actually beyond that. So if you want to take it to that professional level, definitely check it out. The link is in the description. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.